Hey guys, uh, this is Terminator. Uh huh? Eight years from now? Oh, I wish. Oh, flying cars. Flying anything. Nuclear fire. So the machines turned on us? Yeah, typical. So, okay, obviously there's like some time travel. Okay, so this guy traveled back in time to stop, to stop the machines from rising up. Yes, save all these hey, people. My turn. Not these people. Oh shit. Whoa. Superhumans? What is up with these naked people just popping out? Whoa. So humans are superhuman in the future? He just like opened that door and it was padlocked. That would be nice. But then everyone would be superhuman, so it wouldn't matter. Wow, you're gonna steal the cop car? Damn. This isn't real leather, is it? Damn. What a fucking piece of shit, kid. It's a 15 day wait on handguns with rifles you can take right now. You can't do that. What the fuck isn't he here to like save the Oh he's the robot? Is he a robot? Okay, they're both looking for this lady. Sarah Kana? Yes. Shit. It's the wrong one, bro. Shit. He's gonna kill every Sarah Connor. So Arnold Schwarzenegger is the bad guy in this movie? Damn. Yeah, so in the future, these things are fucking monsters. Oh, so the... So everything, like, there's nothing controlling them. So it's literally man versus machine. But obviously not all machines, because they must have machines to make all their, like, their own weapons. And other stuff. Ooh. It's that sixth sense. Woman's intuition. And you completely ignored it. That coffee is two hours cold. Mm-hmm. I put a cigarette out. Damn. Did you reach the next girl yet? No, I keep getting an answer machine. Police are refusing to speculate on the apparent similarity between the shooting deaths. And no other connection between the two victims has been established. Okay, this is when you go to the police. And say, hey, uh, what's going on? Yeah, you're next. Okay, so he's here to protect her. So she's important in the war to fight the machines. Okay. Wow. 
Damn. No mercy. Fucking robot. The police keep transferring me around. I'm gonna give them another try. Like, you know, this guy comes into the woman's house to kill them. Why would you leave a message where you were? Come on. Ah. Terminator's an infiltration unit. Part man, part machine. Underneath it's a hyperalloy combat chassis. Microprocessor controlled, fully armored, very tough. But outside it's living human tissue. Flesh, skin, hair, blood grown for the cyborgs. Damn. Like they made all this hair and skin. They didn't, they couldn't give him eyebrows. He turned it around. He brought us back from the break. His name was Connor. John Connor. Your son, sir. Oh. Your unborn son. Okay. So they're protecting the vessel of the chosen one. Did he slip out? He's huge. No one saw him or heard him. Ugh. Damn, I hate eye stuff. Nasty eye shit. And I was assigned to this is fucking great. The last two years under John Connor. And who was the other one you said? A computer defense system built for... <laughs> built for There's no point. The They're not gonna believe you, man. Oh, no. No, I'm not seeing that. Nope. No. No. Okay, we get it. He's gonna switch out his eye. Okay, next. Oh, that's a fake head. But that's cool. Yeah, mock him more. Technical terminology. Hopefully he goes through that fucker if he wants to come get Sarah Connor. He'll be perfectly safe. Huh. Got 30 cops in this building. Asshole. Oh, too bad. I'll be back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's the iconic moment. Oh, he's literally, he's gonna be back now, okay, to get weapons and shit. Okay. Well, yeah, that is fun. Oh, with the car. Okay, so that makes the quote iconic. All right. Watch him. What do you mean, watch him? He's been telling the truth, the truth that makes sense. Dickheads. Damn, he's still wearing that homeless guy's pants. Damn, that, he, that, that guy probably shit his pants like at least three times. Damn, you're gone. I suppose you know who the father is, so I won't tell him to get lost when I meet him. And John never said much about him. Oh, he's the father. Prepare from when he was a kid. When you were in hiding before the war. What? <laughs> You're talking about things that I haven't done yet in the past tense. Back to basics. No! Why the dogs? Hey buddy, is that a dead cat in there or what? 
<laughs> Fuck you, asshole. No, I can't tell you where I am, Mom. I was told not to say. Oh, but heck, I do know where I am. You don't need to hide out up here in the cabin like some creep in the city. Mm. He's gonna go to the fucking cabin? Shit. I knew it. <sighs> They're already dead. Fuck. I love you too, sweetheart. Mom never calls me sweetheart. Damn, he's the father of his idol. That's crazy. <laughs> I love you. Over a picture? Come on, man. These are just like smoke flares. It won't do shit. Nice. Whoa. This way. Okay, go in another direction. Oh, that's nice. Boom. Okay, now no way. Oh, for fuck's sake. He doesn't melt. Yeah, the frame. The frame, of course. All the organic shit melted off. Yes, stop motion animation. Nice. Okay, now try to get up. Down. Oh no! Ah, oh, that thing's gonna squish him. Hydraulic press his ass. You're terminated, fucker. Yes! Mission failed! Okay, so I realized the last five minutes, uh, the microphone turned off because it ran out of power. Anyway, basically the movie ended. Um, the next scene was her driving into the desert. She's pregnant, she's recording audio messages for her uh, son. And then she stops at a gas station or something and the kid takes a picture of her, the picture that Kyle had in the future. Uh, so yeah, full circle, I guess. Anything can happen in the next movies, and I will watch them. Because um, I did like this movie. It was a great action movie. It had everything you would need. Uh, Gunfights, car chases, explosions. Uh, squishing of robots. But anyway, uh, I would recommend this movie. Uh, I would watch it again, like if it was in the background, if someone's watching it. No, I would watch it. I would, I would not turn it off.